Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to JH Racing. Today we're talking about graphics during our sim racing. And specifically, we're going to talk about R Factor 2. But the first thing I'm going to mention is the GeForce Experience. This is to update your NVIDIA drivers. Um, check for updates. Make sure you're using the most recent update. You've got a really nice game ready driver that works well with iRacing and R Factor 2. So once you've updated that, Let's now talk about reshade. Uh, reshade, we're going to use this in R Factor 2. We could use it in iRacing, but today we're going to talk about R Factor 2. So, to do this um, and improve, hopefully, improve the quality of our graphics when we're racing, let's first download it. We're going to just download the regular reshade version. Okay, once we get that, we'll go to our download folder. There it is. We'll double click it. And we'll find the game that we want to play, R Factor 2. And next, we're going to go with uh, Microsoft Direct X 10, 11, 12, because that's what it recommended. So since I don't know too much about this, I will just click that. Let's go, uh, I'm just going to go to modify because I already tried to do this. Uh, I don't have a preset yet to use. So we're just going to skip that step. Uh, select packages, affect packages. So there's a lot of, of them here, and I again, I'm, I'm not familiar with a lot of them. You might want to try different ones if you're familiar with them. I'm just going to go with the two that come pre-selected, that are the standard effects and the suite FX. So I'll just add those. And then what uh, files are we going to install? We're just going to install all of those. So they're all checked, just all of them. Okay, successfully installed Reshade. Click the Finish button to end this setup tool. Now this is a free program, so you can come, become a patron and help support them, or buy them a coffee, whatever you like to do. Okay, we've got that. So we close that out. All right, what we've done now is we've loaded up Steam and we're gonna run R Factor 2. We're on R Factor 2, we're gonna press the Home key. There's the reshade program that's launched. There's a home tab. Now you can click various things in here. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with that yet. I'm going to just start with the reshade preset that comes with it. Um, I can click this to add new presets and uh, find different things. Uh, I'm just going to use this reshade preset uh, because I really don't know anything else but you can download other presets uh, from the internet and as I get better with that I can do that uh, there's an add-ons settings here's your home key that's set to uh, toggle the reshade on and off uh, and, and a few other things that you can look at I'm not really doing anything with that so I'm just again like I said just using the uh, the setting that comes with it. So I'm going to toggle that off. Click RF2 to start going. For single player, uh, I'm just doing something simple. Laguna Seca with the Porsche 911 GT3R. And in my edit settings, I'll go to uh, uh, weather, I think, here. And I'll just make it sunny for the moment. I've set the time for 8.30 because I'm going to compare the graphics that I'm seeing here on R Factor 2 with, uh, with the exact same settings to the best that I can do it in iRacing. So let's start this going. Okay, this already looks a little bit better in terms of the time of day. Factor 2 just looks so much more realistic to me than iRacing. And the uh, force feedback that I'm getting through the wheel, the car slippage, the recovery, it really feels just so 
so much more realistic. My racing seems to feel kind of damped down, like... It's not going to put you in those situations very quickly where you're... feeling like the effects of the... the car slipping around on the track. The force feedback is just on a different level in this game. Not very good at uh, Laguna Seca in R Factor 2 yet. It'll take us a while, a while to learn the track here.
Okay, it's time to uh, end our video uh, for using reshade in RF2. Here's our reshade menu, and we just have the uh, generic reshade preset that's loaded. What we'd like to do is uh, find some uh, different presets. You'll have to find them online. These are the INI files. So we only have the two that come with the actual program, but there are many others available online. So we'd like to get those. So we'll try to find those if we can, and then we'll uh, run a few of those and maybe learn how to uh, design it ourselves. And that'll be in an upcoming video. For the time being, we'll just do some driving in the rain.